Hey guys, welcome to Whiskey Nose. I'm back for another review. It's been a while. Today, we're going to knock out Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C922. And before it's over, we're going to compare it to A122 and B522. So stick around. Let's get to tasting. Let's get after it, man. I've been waiting for this bottle. I want to thank my main man, Rob MC from MC Squared Whiskey. Guys, if you've not checked out our new channel, MC Squared Whiskey, get your ass over there and subscribe and like and follow us. We're basically talking whiskey, life, and money, and uh, that's just what we do. So, uh, yeah, man, we're going after it today. C922. Let's get after it, man. Let's taste it up. Let's hit the nose. Oh, yeah, man caramel off the shot getting a little candy apple yeah a little candy apple note right off right off the front getting a little alcohol still fresh into this bottle got down into it a little bit this week me and rob we did some damage so uh yeah it's, it's very sweet a little water to keep me fresh very candle candy apple note sorry uh Maybe a little, little cream, a little cream note, a little cream vanilla now. Uh, very nice. The color of this is very dark amber. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful dark amber color. Like I said, that nose is, is, is man, that candy apple, vanilla, caramel. A little bit of sugar coming through now, just a little bit. No, nothing really overpowering on the nose, as in sugar, for me. Uh, definitely creamsicle candy apple. Very nice. Not, like I said, it's it's not a lot of black pepper. Uh, there's some there that, that's floating around, but not, not enough to really burn the nose. Uh, yeah, that, that is... It's like when you, on the nose, it's like when you first open up that creamsicle popsicle and you can smell it before you taste it. That's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah. A little bit of sugar now. Very nice barrel note. Very nice over, underwhelming. It's not, it's not going to take you off the charts with barrel. Easy. Yeah. Still getting a lot of that creamsicle, like I said earlier. I'm not going to wear that out on you. That apple, that apple peel now. Yeah, that's an easy nose, man. That is solid. That is so exciting. All right, guys, let's have a taste, man. Cheers from Whiskey Nose. Oh, wow. Yeah, first taste is creamy, buttery. The finish is still going, just on the first taste. Um, still getting a lot of that apple note. Creamsicle still there. It's definitely that orange creamsicle is floating around. Uh, smooth, to be honest. Uh, it's not too strong on that on that creamsicle note. Now, let's have a second taste. Oh yeah, man. That second taste now. Finish is lighter. The 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 mid to late palate now is like biting into a candy apple. You're getting that that red apple peel up right up front. Uh, it, it continues. Oh man, that finish is just so sweet, candy apple. Man, they've knocked it out of the park on this. Just on two tastes, man. Let's let's have a third taste. 
Strike three right here, baby. Yeah. Little vanilla bread now. Very smooth. Yeah, that, that, that candy apple's dominant for me. Yeah, it's still lingering on the back end of the palate. It's it's still finishing. Now I'm getting that pepper note. Getting that Heaven Hill black pepper a little bit now coming through. Uh, the vanilla's kind of kicked it down a little bit. The creamsicle's still there. Creamsicle candy apple, for sure. Yeah, let's have another taste, man. This is so good. Yeah. Now I'm getting the intensified vanilla. Uh, not really any earthy notes on this one. You know, sometimes I get a, a good uh, hay, uh, Heaven Hill, uh, Rick House flavor from some of these, but this one seems to be pretty solid with that. Uh, no real issues there. Yeah, this this is solid, guys. I, I'm, I'm really excited about this bottle. It, it's so good. Yeah. Very good, very good. Let's, let's watch the palette and we'll get into A and B. Yeah, that, that finish is still lingering, man. It's, it's still floating. Uh, that vanilla pepper now, that Heaven Hill is coming through. It's, it's very pleasant. Uh, the proof uh, on this bottle is 124.8. Uh, it's about in that wheelhouse for me on the finish. I, I, I'd say... If I was guessing this blind, I'd say between 18, 118, and probably 120. So 124, it's soft. It doesn't it doesn't hit that hard for me. Uh, I think it's a winner. I think this is this is a very good expression from the the Barrel Proof Collection from Elijah Craig. Uh, scoring it, I that's going to be tough for me because on a one through ten scale, I think. This one with that candy apple note is so good. Yeah. Almost, almost vanilla pop tart now. I get a little bready, little little bread from it now. Still candy apple dominant. Pop tart, that vanilla pop tart's coming through. As the finish lingers, it's given me a little bit more of that uh, black pepper, but solid, man, solid. Okay, let's put it against A and B, and let's let's see what happens. Let's get after it. All right, guys, we've got A, B, and C right here in order. We're not going to blind them like I thought I would at first. I thought it'd be easier to know what each uh, Glen is and take each expression and put them against each other without blinding them just to see where they stand up against each other. So let's go to A first on the nose. Yeah, nose on A, very vanilla forward. Crème brûlée. Yeah, almost a dark fruit now. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, very dark. A little spicy, little, 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 little resin there, a little spicy, yeah. Definitely more pepper on A, I think, on the nose than there was on, on C. Yeah. A, I'm getting more of that that earthy note, that that, that hay feel, that Rick House, that, that Heaven Hill expression. Not bad. Proof on A, 120.8. And I think it hits every bit of that. I, I think it's very light on the palate, especially on the back end. The back end doesn't knock you down with heat or give you a throat punch by any means. Uh, very smooth, very light uh, compared to C so far. C is, is heavier on the palate for me. A is very smooth drinker, uh, very good for what it is. But right now A's probably not beating C at all. So uh, let's try B. On the nose on B. Yeah, that is that is very sugar creme brulee, no doubt, man. 
vanilla cake. Uh, getting a little marshmallow note now. Very smooth. Yeah, back to A on the nose compared to B. A's more punch. A's more black pepper hot on the nose than B was. Yeah, B's a lighter nose. B's proof is uh, 121. So we've got 128, 120.8, 121, and 124.8. So we're going right up the chain a little bit. Uh, yep. Yep, right. Yeah, B's definitely a better nose than A, no doubt. Uh, let's have a taste of B again. Yeah, B's, B's more uh, vanilla sweet, a little spicy. I get more oak wood on B than I did A. And for what I remember, I, I'm getting more oaky notes from B than I did C. So yeah, B is B is really solid. B still hits kind of light now that I've, I've let it sit for a second. B's a little lighter on the palate. Mid to back palate, that pepper note kind of wants to fade for me. Let's have another taste. Yeah, that that pepper note is still there. More more vanilla cake, more marshmallow than a solid. More hot though. It's 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 definitely even though it's just a you know a little bit hotter than than a. It's it's hitting on the palate a lot more hotter to me than than uh, a did. But yeah, it's it's still solid at one one twenty one. So yeah, I. I wouldn't kick A or B out of bed for eating crackers, that's for sure. Uh, let's wash out and we'll go to C and we'll throw them together. All right, man, let's go back to C one more time. Yeah. C has a lot more palate clinging viscosity. Yeah, those are three big words from... Marty at Whiskey Nose. What I mean by that is, when you set it on your palate to start, there's more happening. There's more coming to you. Uh, the expression of that red apple starts to come through quick on the palate. It's a great finish. I don't get that. Like I said, man, C does not give me the, the, the Heaven Hill hayfield, grassy rickhouse I get a light barrel note, which is just enough, not too much. Not like, you know, when we did Calumet 16 earlier in the spring. Definitely not dominant pepper. That that barrel note is solid. That candy apple note, man, is just so good. So good. I want to go back to A. Hit B one more time. I already know what C's like. Let's have A again. Cheers. He's just lacking on the finish for me. A is very good, but it's just not barrel heavy. It's not oily. It's just, it's there. It's good. It's just like something's missing. So when we go to B, yeah, that nose, definitely sugar forward now. Definitely more marshmallow. Yeah, let's have another taste. Yeah, B's definitely got more throat punch on the back end. Definitely get that 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 black pepper rickhouse from it. A is smooth. B's a heavy hitter on the palate, as in finish for me. And C, start to finish. C's got all of them thrown together. They are literally in order for me of least favorite to favorite. 
A is good. Light on the palate. Not a lot to knock you down. Not a, not a lot of uh, overwhelming flavors that you can just flat out just pull out of the air. Uh, B, definitely that marshmallow note. I get a little bit of that hay, a little bit rickhouse. High heat on the back end. C for me is both A and B put together. Uh, if you like candy apple, if you like that sugar, you're going to like C. Uh, what's great about C is the, the, the finish on C, it being the highest proof of all three, the proof, the heat, the throat punch fades early, so those flavors kind of kick it. Yeah, definitely apple note, man. That is so solid. And my apple may be your cherry or something like that. You may get a darker fruit than I do. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I think, to sum it up, A is probably a, I'd say 6.5 out of 10. B, with that better back end than A, with a little bit more of that, that marshmallow flavor, that good smooth note of vanilla. B to me is probably a seven, I would think. Uh, C, when you put them all together, start to finish, man. C is probably an 8.2 to 8.5 for me. Hands down, C is the favorite for me on Whiskey Nose this year of the three Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. I'm sad because now I gotta wait till probably February or March till we do this again. But uh, yeah, guys, if you can pick up C, get on it, man. It is definitely my favorite of the year. Uh, yeah, that, that that candy apple note is solid, man. That is so good. It may not be your jam, but it is mine for sure. Uh, definitely, definitely pick it up, guys, if you can. Before you go, hit that like and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what's your favorite. Let me know what, if you don't have C yet, let me know what you think of A and B or A or B. And, uh, yeah, man, this is good stuff. I, I'm not disappointed in any of them. I think they're all good for what they are. But definitely tonight, man, C's a winner. Guys, uh, if you haven't joined Patreon yet, get over there join Patreon, man. We do great stuff. We do giveaways. We've got new items coming. I've, I've been in a transition of moving a few times in the last six months, so not been able to do a whole lot with Patreon, but we're going to do some more Patreon live streams, private only for members. Uh, get over there and join up as little as $3. Help the channel if you can grow. Share us, like us, like I said, subscribe. Uh, and if you're interested in the Golden Glens, guys, we've still got Golden Glens left. They're 20 bucks plus a little shipping, and I'll get them out to you quick. So with that, man, guys, cheers. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, man. C922, you're a hitter. Until next time, guys, uncut, unfiltered. Cheers, guys.